Jason D.O. Yeah, yes. knock, knock, got peas at the door. Knock, yeah, knock, 30 points, gon' score. Yeah, whoop, warm hammer like Thor. Yeah, bop, sip it on oil. Oh, skr, skr, yeah, water gon' boil. So he's from Nashville, starting his rap career. Please welcome to the podcast, Gas Mask the Slug God. How are you doing? Great, man. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. So just to start it off, how did you start rapping, or how did you first get into rapping? Oh, man. Uh, it's the same story. That I always tell. Um, I started in school actually, and well, actually, I started at home, and I, I got into it at school, and um, that's pretty much where I kind of just took off with it. Was like in school, like during school, I would just um, I just rap with like friends, and you know, like that was pretty much where I just took off with it. Mm -hmm. So, was there a specific moment where you kind of realized like? oh, I'm good at this, or like, oh, I'm better than most people at this? Well, there was a time when I realized that it was what I wanted to do. You know, I wouldn't say I would, like, put others down, but I, I just kind of uh, saw it as my, as my way out of, like, you know, just I just saw it as another way of, like, um, keeping myself busy, mm -hmm. you know, staying out of trouble, like, you know, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So what's one thing you wish you had known when you started rapping? One thing I wish I would have known? Mm -hmm. um, definitely, uh, how can I say it? Um, I wish I would have known that uh, there are other people out there that are, you know, just like me, trying to do the same thing. Mm-hmm. Alright, um, and it might be, it's like, kind of the same question, but what advice or what tips would you give to other people who are just starting to rap? Never quit, and never give up. Just keep, keep, keep trying, keep get doing, you know, keep, like, just keep it up. Just never stop. Mm-hmm. So I know rap and especially the music industry in general can be hard to kind of break into or to get your name out there. Um, was there like a moment where you wanted to quit or like you thought that you wouldn't be able to make it? No, no. Um, I always look look at the uh, brighter side of things. I always keep my head up. I always... Um, you know, I'm, I'm more optimistic than anything. So, uh, like I said, since I'm more optimistic than anything, I tend to look on uh, the side that says, you know, you'll do it. You'll, you'll pull through, you know. Mm -hmm. So I see that you're wearing a Metallica shirt. So I'm guessing you like other music genres other than just rap. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Um I'd say I like, because, you know, for me, it's more about just hip-hop and rap. But when it comes to, like, you know, giving people something new, it's like if you fuse the two together, I definitely think that it's, you know, it's something like, um, I cannot word it. Um, I definitely think it's, it's, a, it's a different look, and I think that it's, it's a great look because it's something new. And it's something different, like, you know, if you put rock and rap together, or, you, you know, even, you know, there, there have been artists that have put country and rap together, and mm -hmm. they actually came out on top, you know, people listened to it and liked it, you know, I, I don't like to, um, you know, I don't want to just give them one thing, I'd like to give them more than, you know, more than one thing. So you're, like, incorporating, like, rock or other genres into your rap songs? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, so, who is there like a certain person who has inspired you a lot in life? Uh, you mean um, like a, another rapper? Or? Uh, sure, anyone, another rapper, or just like family or someone you know personally. So, anything. 
man, I'd have to say a big inspiration would probably be my dad, yeah. Uh, just because, you know, I've never, um, I've never had problems with when it comes to my, you know, my pop, just because he's, you know, he's taking care of me and he showed me the ropes. And what I mean by showed me the ropes, he's like, you know, he showed me the, uh, the other side of life that's the more, um, that's more like, uh, you know, you got to be responsible for yourself. You know, you got to, uh, you know, life comes with responsibility. And that's mm-hmm. what he showed me. So I'd definitely say that. Mm-hmm. So when you're creating a new song or writing a new song, what does that creative process look like? Do you write lyrics and then find a beat to kind of go over it? Do you have the beat first? What goes into that? Okay, for me, that consists of me listening to a beat and then coming up with something fun and something not something serious but not too serious because I like to mix it up um, I like to give them something fun along with like a lesson if, if I if I'm able to you know mm-hmm. but so you have the beat first and then you write lyrics on top of that yeah yeah definitely you can say that. So, do you, when you have a new song, are you making the beats, or do you find them, or have someone produce them? How do you get the beats for your song? Um, I usually go out, and, uh, I usually, I like to put my stuff out there, you know, and what I mean by put my stuff out there, I like to, uh, you know, I like to, um, I like to um, I like to put myself out there, like my stuff out there. Um, just I like to take chances, you know. Like maybe a friend will recommend somebody that has some beats already, and then mm-hmm. you know that's kind of where I go from there. Yeah. Okay, um, so if it might not apply, you might just think that your music is different from everyone, but if if you can, are there, like, certain rappers that you kind of model your style of music or your flow after? No, i definitely say I have my own flow. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I'd like to say that, you know, there are other rappers that I look up to that I, uh, that I think have a different, like, you know, like, in the game people would look at them and be like, oh, wow, okay, he's doing something different. I, I'd say that, that I definitely have rappers that I look at like that, but as far as the flow goes, nah, I have my own flow. Mm-hmm. I don't really, uh, I, I, I'm, I make it a, uh, I make it a, you know, a, um, I make it known that I have my own flow, you know. Mm-hmm. I, I would never copy somebody else's flow, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, so if you got the chance and got the opportunity where you can take your pick and make a song with any artist in the world, rapper or other genre, who would you make a song with? Um, man, uh, I'd say, uh, are you talking about today or just overall? Uh, sure, we can do both, so like, Today, or you can go for all time. Okay. I'd definitely like to make a song with Busta Rhymes, just because he's uh, he's a fast rapper, you know, like, mm-hmm. all his raps are fast, so I think that would be a challenge for me, just trying to, like, uh, you know, trying to come, trying, like, coming up, you know, I think that would be a challenge, so definitely Busta. Okay. Um... So, I saw that you had an interview with Streets, uh, that kind of broadcast there. What was that like, going into, like, a professional studio like that and having an interview like that? Oh, man, that was an experience. Like, uh, I haven't really experienced that before, and being new and upcoming, i definitely say that uh, that was an experience that I was, like, that I really looked up, like, looked up to, 
Yeah, you're still pretty small, so that was, I'm guessing that was kind of your first time being in a production like that? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. So, who, if you have them, who are your top three rappers of all time? Top three, okay. Um, let me see. Okay, definitely Shine, Buster Rhymes, and... Uh, man, um, can we just keep it the top two? No, I'm kidding, man, I'm kidding. Uh, okay, Shine, Buster Rhymes, and, man, um, it's a lot of people. Okay, um. Yeah, it's definitely a hard question, because there's so many to choose from, and you just gotta get three. Yeah, right. Uh, okay, I'd definitely say, uh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, pretty good picks. Um, so, if you have them, it's okay if you don't have them, but do you have a top three rap albums of all time? Um, not the top three. I can give you one that I would just off the top. Mm -hmm. And what's that? Uh, I'd definitely say Shines, the green album. Mm -hmm. Alright, um, and so, like, you were talking about your top rap. Mm -hmm. So you were talking about your top rappers. Do you one day see yourself getting to that level of rapper, or getting to like a pretty big rapper or a pretty big name? Oh yeah, definitely. I think it just takes it takes time for one, and it takes hard work mm -hmm. and never giving up. So yeah, I definitely see myself getting there. Yeah. All right. Well, it was. A shorter one, but that's all I have for today. So thank you so much for coming on. Where can people find you on social media? Where can they find your music? Anything? Okay, uh, Instagram, the slug god underscore underscore, and um, my music is on the way. My music is in the works right now. So like, I know that sounds a little weird coming from an artist, mm -hmm. but you know I don't have. Uh, I have the platforms, but I just haven't really, um, I haven't found anything that I've thought is worth putting out without having strings attached to it. So, mm -hmm. you know, the music is on the way, but, uh, just, you know, until then, you know, all I can say is just enjoy what, you know, what, what little that you get. So, yeah. All right. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me, man. Thirty point gon' score. Yeah, I'm gonna hammer like Thor. Yeah, wow. sip it on all. Yeah, skr, skr. yeah. water gon' boil. Yeah. 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 Ye